What's going on guys? So last time I was out here, some of my subscribers spotted this Cardinal Luxury Edition fifth wheel and asked me if I could do a quick video on it. So I'm going to do that right now. Hope you enjoy it. This thing has some really nice features that I think a lot of people who are interested in full-timing it or spending just a lot of time out and want to have as much luxury as possible are really going to like. So this is the Cardinal from Forest River. This is their luxury edition. A lot of upgrades on the outside of this coach. First of all, it uses the Moride rubber pin box system up front. It has a full drop frame, which is very common on Cardinal units. So it is an eight inch beam here that attaches to a 12 inch beam going all the way back. This comes standard with the LCI level up system. Here's the front basement storage area, massive storage. That drop frame really opens you up to having just a huge amount of storage back here. Battery disconnect, it is plumbed for heat to keep this area warm in case you go to colder climate conditions. One really cool feature is they put the TV down here on a slide so you can watch TV outside and it slides into this little compartment that's protected by this little shroud to keep it from getting damaged. It does have an aluminum frame. You can see it under here. Nice thick doors. These are about an inch, inch and a quarter thick. This is a full body paint unit as well, so no stickers. And this unit is prepped for a generator. You pretty much have everything here to go ahead and put a generator in place. Plus it supports up to two batteries. Hydraulic leveling system. Let's take a quick look at the numbers on this unit. 16,495 pound gross vehicle weight rating, has a cargo capacity of 2,236 pounds, rides on 7,000 pound Dexter axles, and it comes standard with G-rated tires. You can see the 12 inch I-beam frame that runs back from the drop frame all the way to the back of the coach. Rack and pinion slide system. This coach utilizes the Cree 3000 Moride upgraded equalizer. And it has Rainier tires. Now these aren't going to be super expensive Goodyear's or Michelin's, but these are going to be very similar to the Saloon tires. It's a good tire for the price, and these are G-rated tires. So they are an all-steel tire. And that's what that means right here, Rainier all-steel. This has a solid fiberglass rear cap that is fully painted, all LED lighting, and it has a pre-installed Furion backup camera, as well as a trailer receiver in the back so you can put a bike rack or something else in the back of this coach without any problem. Frameless windows come standard on this unit as well as these dual awnings. And one thing I like about the way they've done the awning on this coach is that this second awning isn't on the main body of the coach that extends over the slide. It's on the slide itself, which gives you much more coverage with it. And I wanted to take a step back so you can see that this fifth wheel actually has solar panels pre-installed on it. So you're already going to get solar panels on this unit. Plus, you can see that it has three Whisper Quiet AC units as well. There's really no environment you could go to with this unit that you would really have to worry about getting too hot or too cold. Let's take a look inside this unit. So first of all, they have the AC running in it, which is really nice. It's very cool in here. This is a rear living room floor plan. It has both screens as well as the MCD day-night roller shades. You know, I really love the wood tones in here. I love this dark wood finish. This is just a beautifully appointed fifth wheel. It has the televator. I'm not a big fan of that. I don't really understand why it's there, but some people really like it. It's cool tech, just something else to break in my opinion. Lots of cabinets. Again, really residential in terms of form and function. So check out the kitchen area. This is a massive island. The island is probably, I would say, close to seven feet long, maybe eight feet long. Nice residential grade fixtures. Lots of shelving, lots of cabinets. Again, this is all residential stuff. 
residential grade. Hidden hinges, full size LG residential refrigerator, upgraded cooktop area. Nice convection microwave. Check out this pantry. Really nice pantry area. If you guys hear a tapping noise, it's because there's a wire running around the outside and the wind's kind of smacking it up against the side of the coach. And then tons of shelves and cabinets on the bottom of the island as well. This is absolutely a unit you could spend a lot of time in and travel the country in. Has a nice radius arc ceiling to it. Whisper quiet AC units, you can barely hear them. Plus it's ducted, nice ceiling fan. Has upgraded crown molding. But you can just really tell from all the woodwork just how nice of a unit this is. Nice dinette area. I really like the design here on the back of the island. One thing I like about the Grand Design brand that I wish brands like this would adopt is not having that large center leg area supporting the table. They kind of support it from the side so you get more leg room underneath. This is kind of cool. You have kind of a bread box storage area here, complete with power connections in the back. This is a really nice area. This gives you that interactive system where you can control many of the things of the coach from your smartphone. Thermostat. You have a nice closet here too. A lot of people don't put a closet in the front of their coach, so it's really nice to see when they do. Behind the door, this is your switch panel. So this is gonna have all your controls, plus this little touch screen that can control everything as well. And this one already has a solar controller built into it. Plus a power management system. Very nice. A lot of features that would cost you thousands to add if you get them after the fact. Carpeted area up here. Kind of wish it was that continuous vinyl flooring that's in the bathroom and everywhere else. But they put carpet in the master bedroom in this little hallway area. Has a very nice master bathroom. Dual vanities. Lots of countertop space two huge medicine cabinets as well as a center cabinet here. Of course you're going to get a porcelain toilet, one piece shower system, very nice. Looks like you can be upwards of almost seven feet tall if you were going to use this shower. So this is definitely a good shower for taller folks. Lots of storage. Man, that is a deep storage area. I don't think I could reach to the back of that. That's probably a solid three and a half feet. Plus another one at the bottom. This one doesn't go back quite as far. These go back about a foot and a half. Going into the master bedroom, you have a nice dresser at the end of the bed here, along with TV already installed. Of course, whisper quiet AC system in this unit. Ducted AC as well, lots of lighting. Tons of LED lighting in here. This is cool, you get a really nice chair railing that goes around the bottom. This is the first unit I've seen with this. Plus, plenty of space. You have about a foot on that side, and then you have about a foot and a half on this side to get around the king-size bed. Very large closet area, along with a place to put your shoes, and the two extra chairs for the dinette. And this unit comes pre-installed with washer-dryer stackable units. as well as lots of really nice drawers. This is really cool. So they give you drawers here for whatever you might need to put in those drawers. It's a really well laid out master bedroom area and you can tell this is designed for people who will probably be living in a coach like this. Overall, very impressive. And I know this is small, but I really like this little power station they put here in the kitchen area two 110 outlets as well as two USB jacks. And it just slides down flat when you're not using it. This coach, normally 118,000, they sell it for $84,279.
so it's not a bad priced unit for what you're getting. Anyways guys, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of this 3456 Forest River Cardinal luxury model. This is, I believe, their highest end model in the Cardinal series. Wanted you to see what it was all about. It is a really nice unit. This is definitely something you would want to tow with a dually. This is definitely not in three quarter ton or one ton single rear wheel space, even though I know some people do that. This is something you want to have as much stability and control with as possible when towing. So I would highly recommend a dually truck from either Ram Ford or GM. Any of them should be able to tow this unit just fine. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.